Mm-hmm. All right. Did you ever go to summer camp when you were a kid? I, I did. Yeah, I went to a, actually a film camp. You went to film camp? camp? I did. I was a bit of a film nerd. I went to like a normal canoe camp, high camp Twingo. But mm-hmm. I bet you you've never heard out there of a camp like the one we're about to tell you about. It is called Logics Academy. It looks like so much fun, but at the same time, the kids are learning about hardcore science. Check it out. Logics Academy is an educational partner for, that specializes in robotics and aerospace education for children. And what we do is we work with different schools, hospitals, educational programs to develop and facilitate uh, workshops to engage students in hands-on activities to excite them about science, technology, and basically hands-on skills. We got a class behind us, they're working on bottle rockets right now. What are some of the other things? We've uh, worked with several schools to develop in our specialty programs for aerospace. We teach them about hovercrafts, how do rockets work, and but then at the same time we work in the areas of robotics to focus on you know, how do how are robots designed? A lot of children are really intimidated. So what we do is things like, you know, how do we bring that to a, a child's level? So a specific project we worked on was, you know, you have a challenge in a warm summer day, you've injured your arm and you want to be able to drink. Here's a kit of parts, design your own arm and, and meet the challenge to, to be able to drink so you can just quench your thirst. <laughs> just as simple as that. And all the way to as a complex, uh, a recent challenge that we conducted and we developed and actually uh, facilitated with, in parallel with Sick Kids Hospital. The hospital had a, a, a specific lab that works on robotics development for surgical procedures. So uh, today's project is, uh, is a simple bottle rocket and the idea behind it is we fill the bottle rocket with water, um, we compress it with air and they get to launch it and the, the kids themselves have actually been asked in the beginning of the classroom to estimate how high they, their rocket would go. Three, two, one, I know why that's important, I have my answer, but why do you think it's important that we encourage uh, our youth to uh, take an active interest in science, robotics and technology? Well, you know, uh, hands-on activities are really crucial because they allow students uh, to integrate their skills. So in today's educational environment, you learn your sciences, your maths, your politics, your sociology. Uh, but at the same time, what you really need is to integrate those skills with things like teamwork, uh, you know, economics, the skills of being able to finance these aspects and projects, to be able to integrate it with arts. Okay, so before we talk about all the cool elements to this story and this initiative, and they are myriad, I just want to say, I, I hope that none of these very smart, scientifically adept kids ever invent Skynet or the Terminators. Please, I implore you, use your power for good and not evil. You're always so paranoid about this. I'm scared of Skynet. No, I don't, don't think they will. They seem no. like cool kids. They're very cool kids. <laughs> this is a really cool way to also learn about science. I think I would have been a much better learner of science had I gone to a camp like this when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. I want a rocket myself to see it blast off right oh, now. Be so because neat. the thing is, is that we don't all learn the same way. And for me, as a kid, I remember having a teacher standing up at the front of the classroom. I found it sometimes difficult to follow. It's that yeah. hands-on experience that I think really gets kids excited. So it's true that they will end up carrying this on more likely in the future. Well, and you know, you think just a few months ago on Interspace, we reported on those, uh, those those young guys out in Scarborough, high school students, who sent that Lego right. man up up into space, up into the, you know, the, the bottom level of space, and they probably got turned on to science really early, and initiatives like this camp, like Logics Academy, really turn people on to science early. I was a terrible science student. I wish I had something like this Me to too. go to. Instead, I, like, went to camp and, like, skipped all the things where they taught you about stuff and just, like, hung out in the forest. There's also a I'm whole terrible. bunch of, I mean, this is an amazing amazing camp, but there's also a whole bunch of other camps. I was looking up um, in the States. You can go to a zombie camp. Like, you get to what? fight zombies. I think it's like 4,000. It happens in Massachusetts. You can also go to a Hollywood stunt camp for kids. Really? Um, there's all sorts of different types of things you can put your kids into just to, oh, uh, I don't know, to, to live out your dreams. I would love to go them. to drum camp. That would have been cool. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Well, logicsacademy.com. Read more about it. Really cool initiative. And right now, let's take a look at what's new on the shelf. 